There's a set of armour in Horizon Zero Dawn that's hiding away in a bunker which projects a damage absorbing force shield, allowing you to take multiple hits from a Thunderjaw without suffering a single scratch. It basically makes Aloy impervious to every single robot attack. Yes, really. Here's where to find it, how to get it, and exactly how overpowered it is. Firstly, you'll need to trigger the quest. In the middle of the Embrace, the eastern side of the world map and the area Aloy starts in is a ruin. Once here, Head to this large rock formation and climb up to the top of the rocks. Now, drop down into a small underground lake, then follow it until you come to a rip in the rock face which will lead you into the ancient high-tech bunker. You'll be able to see the armour as soon as you step in. Aloy will quickly deduce that you need something to get it up and running though, namely power cells. I haven't seen one of these since I was a little kid. Now the ancient armoury quest will trigger and you'll see that you need two power cells to open the bunker door. I'll have to find power cells to get these to work. After that set of doors opens, you'll need another three to open the locks holding the armour in place. The power cells are located all over the map. The first is here, where Aloy fell into the old abandoned high-tech facility underground as a child. This old place. I haven't been here in years. When you make your way through this set of bunker doors you had to work out how to unlock as a child, there's a doorway straight ahead of you blocked by stalactites. Smash them with your spear to open up a way into the room and you'll see the power cell right in front of you. It'll have a green diamond hovering above it. Pick it up and you're a fifth of the way to getting that armour. The second one is in All Mother Mountain, here, which you'll find yourself in after the Proving questline. Once you've found all of your things in the large room, don't follow Tirsa to the left. Instead, go straight forward towards the locked bunker door, which will have a bright red glowing hologram on it. Turn to the left, look down, and you'll see a tunnel. Crawl through it to the end, and the next power cell will be waiting for you there. The third cell is hiding at the Grave Horde, here, which you'll be sent to as part of, surprise surprise, the Grave Horde main storyline quest. Once you're in the opening foyer and have taken out the Watcher and the two Eclipse cultists investigating a downed Corruptor, scout around until you see the telltale green diamond which indicates a power cell is hiding in the snow. You'll find the fourth at the top of the skyscraper, here in the Maker's End ruins, which you'll discover as part of the Maker's End quest. Scale up to the very top of the tower. Once you're outside, turn around and clamp up to this platform at the bottom of the large strut stretching upwards, which ends in the tip of the skyscraper. There are handholds sneakily placed up the wall which you'll want to haul yourself up. Simply follow them all the way to the top where the green power cell will be waiting. Lastly, you'll have to have the Mountain That Fell quest. Make your way to Gaia Prime. Do not make your way down the zip wire. Instead, go to the ledge to the left of it, outside the ruined metal structure and to the left of the curved metal struts and carefully move towards the edge of the cliff. An option will pop up to drop down to the ledge, revealing a secret path down to a hidden in plain sight area. Move towards the left and Aloy will find the path downwards. Once you get to a ledge, drop down, jumping up to a higher platform with some medicinal mushrooms on it. Make your way inside the purple lit room and voila, to your right there will be the power cell on a shelf. Now you're ready to claim your armour. Head back to the bunker and make your way around to the right, slotting two power cells into the broken hologram slots. The holograms will jump into life but you'll have to swivel them into a specific position to make the doors open. A display on the right will display five 24 hour time codes, 1200, 1500, 1800, 2100 and 0000. If you imagine each lock as a clock face, it doesn't take too much pondering to work out that you'll have to match the position of the holographic locks to these times. Make your way through the doors on the left of the room to find five more holographic locks. Once you've crammed the remaining three power cells into each gap, another code will pop up on the left. This time it has the following numbers displayed. 90, 270, 360, 450 and 630. These are codes denoting angles and you'll have to turn the red sections from left to right to the following positions. Right, left, top, right, and left. Now the clamps are open and you can complete the quest, getting a shield weaver treasure box as a reward. Inside is the best armor in Horizon Zero Dawn. Enjoy. The armor is a game changer. 
No, honestly. The shield will ripple across Aloy's body when it's fully charged, but once you've taken too many hits, it will beep and flash red. Just run around for a bit to wait for it to make a beeping noise again, signalling that it's fully recharged. You can take multiple hits from a Thunderjaw without suffering a single scratch, fight three flame bellowbacks and come out completely unsinged, plus have multiple laser balls fired at you from a Stormbird and not flinch once. Helpfully, Aloy doesn't get staggered when the shield takes damage either, meaning you can stand your ground when you're facing off against a machine. So, enjoy taunting every Thunderjaw in sight with this ridiculously good secret armour. If you liked the video, feel free to comment below, check out more videos from us by clicking on the boxes to the left, and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews and features right here on GamesRadar+.